Welcome to our 14-day travel guide to France, Switzerland and Italy. This itinerary will take you on a journey through some of the most beautiful and historic cities in Europe. From the romantic streets of Paris to the stunning shores of Lake Como. Along the way, you will experience breathtaking scenery, delicious cuisine and fascinating culture. Get ready for an adventure of a lifetime as we take you on a journey through some of the most iconic landmarks in the world. Let's dive in and explore the best that these three countries have to offer. The best time to visit France, Switzerland and Italy depends on your preferences and what you want to see and do. The best time to visit France is during the spring. That means April to June and fall from September to November when the weather is mild and the crowds are smaller. The summer months that is July to August are the peak tourist season and the crowds can be overwhelming and prices can be high. However, if you want to experience the famous French Riviera, the summer may be the best time to visit. The best time to visit Switzerland is during the summer months that is June to September when the weather is warm and sunny and the scenery is at its best. However, this is also the peak tourist season and the crowds can be quite large. If you are interested in skiing or winter sports, then the winter months, that is December to March, are the best time to visit. The best time to visit Italy is during the spring, that is April to June and fall, that is September to November. When the weather is mild and the crowds are smaller, the summer months, that is July to August, are the peak tourist season and the crowds can be overwhelming and prices can be high. Overall, the shoulder seasons of spring and fall are generally the best time to visit all three countries. The weather is pleasant and the crowds are smaller, making it easier to explore and enjoy the sights. For package booking and other details, please check the description box below. The Tour Plan Day 1 Paris is a perfect starting point of your two-week adventure. Spend your first day exploring the city's iconic landmarks such as the Eiffel Tower, Arc de Triomphe and Notre Dame Cathedral. Walk along the Seine River, enjoy a coffee at a traditional Parisian cafe and visit the famous Louvre Museum to see some of the world's most famous art including the Mona Lisa. Day 2 on day two, take a day trip to the Palace of Versailles, the former residence of the French royal family. The palace is surrounded by beautiful gardens and fountains. Day three. On day three, explore some of Paris's lesser known attractions. Visit the Montmartre neighborhood, known for its bohemian atmosphere and stunning views of the city. Check out the colorful street art in the Canal Saint Martin area and don't forget to try some of the delicious French cuisine. Day 4 After spending 3 days in Paris, it's time to head to Switzerland. Lucerne is a picturesque city located on the shores of Lake Lucerne. The city's historic old town is filled with charming cafes, museums and beautiful architecture, including the Chapel Bridge one of the oldest covered bridges in Europe. Day 5 After exploring Lucerne, head to Mount Titulis. Mount Titulis is one of Switzerland's most popular tourist destinations and for good reason. The mountain is located in the heart of the Swiss Alps and offers stunning views including a rotating cable car ride to the summit. Once you reach the top, you can enjoy the view of the glacier cave take a walk on the suspension bridge and even try skiing or snowboarding in the winter. Day 6 Interlaken is a beautiful mountain town located in the heart of Switzerland. It's known for its stunning views, outdoor activities and luxury shopping. Spend your first day exploring the city's historic old town which is filled with charming cafes, museums and beautiful architecture. Take a stroll along Lake Brienz or Lake Thun. And don't forget to try some of the delicious Swiss chocolate. 
Day 7 On day 7, take a day trip to Rhine Falls, the largest waterfall in Europe. You can take a boat ride to see the falls up close or simply admire them from the shore. The surrounding countryside is also beautiful and is a great place to hike or bike. Day 8 On day 8, head to Dijon, a beautiful city located in the Burgundy region of France. The city is known for its mastered wine and historic architecture, including the Palace of the Dukes and the Gothic-style Notre Dame Cathedral. Day 9 on day 9, it's time to head to Italy. Venice is known as the city of canals and it is one of the most romantic cities in the world. Take a gondola ride through the winding canals. Visit the famous St. Mark's Square and explore the city's many museums and art galleries. Don't forget to try some of the delicious Italian cuisine including pizza, pasta and gelato. Day 10. On day 10, start your trip by heading to Pisa to see the famous Leaning Tower. The tower is located in the Piazza dei Miracoli, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The tower is actually the bell tower of the nearby cathedral and was built in the 12th century. It is known for its lean, which is caused by the soft ground that it was built on. After visiting the tower, Take some time to explore the rest of Pisa. The city is home to many other historic landmarks, including the Pisa Cathedral, the Baptistry, and the Monumental Cemetery. Day 11 On day 11, head to Rome, the capital of Italy, and one of the most historic cities in the world. Spend your first day exploring the city's ancient landmarks, including the Colosseum, the Roman Forum, and the Pantheon. These landmarks are a testament to Rome's rich history and they are a must-see for anyone visiting the city. Day 12 On day 12, visit some of Rome's other famous landmarks. Check out the Vatican Museums, which are home to some of the world's most famous art and artifacts, including the Sistine Chapel. Visit St. Peter's Basilica, which is one of the largest churches in the world and the center of the Roman Catholic Church. Don't forget to toss a coin into the Trevi Fountain for good luck. Day 13 On the 13th day, head back to the airport for departure. What to eat? In France, try croissant, French onion soup, cheese and macarons. Don't forget to try the wine and champagne. In Switzerland, go for cheese fondue, Swiss chocolate and Swiss wine or beer. In Italy, indulge in pizza, pasta, gelato and tiramisu. As our 14-day journey through France, Switzerland and Italy comes to an end, we hope you have enjoyed exploring these stunning destinations with us. From the charming streets of Paris to the breathtaking views of Mount Titanes, from the historic cities of Rome and Dijon to the romantic canals of Venice. This trip has offered a taste of the diverse cultures and landscapes that make Europe such a fascinating continent to explore. Whether you are a foodie, a history buff, or simply someone who loves to soak up the beauty of new places, this itinerary has something for everyone. We hope this travel guide has inspired you to start planning your own European adventure and to discover the unique beauty and charm of these three incredible countries. If you love this travel guide, then please like and share the video. Also, do let us know your opinion in the comment section below. Your opinion means a lot to us. Have a great tour.